It's late 14th century and China isn't doing so well. Famines and plague made the people very unhappy and they started to rebel against the ruling Mongolian Yuan dynasty. Onto the stage comes Zhu and Zhang, the son of peasants who later became a monk. Zhu didn't seem like someone who would be important in the story, but you'd be wrong. Leading the rebel forces against the empire, Zhu took back vast waves of China and founded the Ming dynasty. He started from the bottom and now he was here. But before the Ming won, things weren't so great on the Korean peninsula either. Chinese rebels were entering Korea territory and Japanese Weibo pirates were raiding, as per usual. Because the generals were the ones that could protect the people, they began to gain support and power. With all the uprisings in China, the Korea was struggling to pick a side. Up to this point, the Korea had been part of the Conquered by the Mongols club, but they weren't too fond of the rebels either. Two powerful generals with opposing views rose to prominence to fight for the future direction of the Korea. In the red corner was General Che Yong, who supported the Yuan dynasty. In the blue corner was General Yi song -ge, who supported the Ming. The Ming had started to fancy some Korea land, so General Che used this to justify an invasion of Ming territory. Counterproductively, the general leading this army was none other than his opponent, General Yi. General Yi was predictably not so thrilled about attacking the side he had so enthusiastically supported, and in the ultimate anime betrayal, he turned the army around and attacked the Korea instead. The king and General Che were understandably horrified, but this didn't matter because now they were dead. Yi Songye tried several times to put in a puppet king from the Korea royal family, but when that didn't work out, he just cut out the middleman and put the crown on his own head. General Yi was now King Yi of the brand new Choson Kingdom. He later retired after just four years due to the massive headache of succession he had to deal with where his sons fought and killed each other. Luckily though, his legacy was to found a centuries-long dynasty that would host arguably the greatest king of Korea, King Sejong the Great, and its greatest general, General Yi Sun-shin. So, there was a lot to look forward to. The rise of King Yi also cemented the Choson Ming alliance, which would last centuries and the two had a great time with philosophy, innovation, art, and calling everyone else barbarians.